everyone, welcome back. It's me again, David. It's Saturday, the 9th of October, and it's about noon. It's a little bit before noon. You might be able to hear some of the wind around me, and I apologize for the wind noise right now, but it's my time to be able to get out. Did a little clean up with the National Honor Society this morning at the state football stadium where I teach. Now, I've driven two hours away from the house to Y Mills Community Lake to give it a try. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Let's see if we can catch some different species. Wish me luck. Welcome to another episode of Fishing Southern Maryland. Welcome to another episode of Fishing Southern Maryland. I'm your host, David. I'm gonna put a little cast out there. A little jig and a soft plastic grub. bring an anchor. We definitely got some wind out there. One. What have we got? A little bluegill to start us off. Okay, let's see if we can catch another one right around in here. Maybe something else. That's another. Looks like it's another bluegill up in there tight under that in that shade. He's a little one. Whoops. There we go. Well, that's kind of a neat area. A couple of little chairs, a little table between them, right here on the lake. Wonder if they ever have a fishing pole in their hand when they're sitting there. I think we got a catfish. Yeah, that's a catfish. A little bullhead, a little brown bullhead. Yes, sir. It gave me a nice splash, too. Let's get a picture of you, buddy. Jig is right there in the corner of his mouth. Gonna take my forceps to get it out of there so well in there. There we got it out. I'm gonna let you back in there, buddy. If you know anything about catfish, you know, of course, that they don't have scales, very slimy. I could put my hand down in the water to wash off that slime. Doesn't work that well, because the slime, of course, is, is, is a protective coating. That's why I'm starting to bring a towel with me to wipe that slime off from when I catch those catfish. The other thing is, that catfish had that hook so well that that jig, almost is now a circle hook. So we're gonna have to replace that. So I'm gonna find a spot out of the wind and do so. A little bigger bluegill. It's not big enough to take home, but it's a little bigger. So I've got a fish. 
and I'm hung up around a tree limb. So there's that. And now I'm hung back in the tree limb. There's my fish. Get out of your mouth, buddy. That's number five for the bluegill today. And then we'll take care of this problem. Bluegill, I believe. Right? Yep, number six of those. <laughs> well, they're species number three, a big bellied, small, large mouth bass. Felt something down there tugging at my grub. Trying to get fat before winter sets in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another small largemouth. Two of those. That brings me to ten fish even, if I remember correctly. As the wind pushes me along, you've noticed from some of the images that there's a green film across the actual lake. Can't really say it's a film as it is vegetation. I'm not sure the exact name of it. I'm hoping that they can get it controlled because if it covers this entire lake, it's going to choke it out. Hopefully they'll take care of that. But what it means for me as a kayak fisherman of course is that when i get back to the launch i need to get all of it off of my kayak i don't want to take any of it back and put it in my kayak in the water in another location and then spread whatever vegetation that is that's something we all can do make sure you get it off of your boat make sure you get it off of your lines off of all of your fishing equipment spread aquatic vegetation. Do your best to get it all off. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, I come out, I try different spots. That's what my channel is all about. Until next time, tight lines. Okay, so... I've come up to the creek that comes down from the actual dam um, around the community lake of Y Mills. There's a sign. That sign says that what's going on is a cyanobacterial bloom, blue-green algae. It says you want to make sure you keep your pets away from it because it can cause illness in pets. I'll make sure when I get home, I'll wash the kayak off real good, not take it out for probably at least a week, if not more, so that hopefully any of the algae that might be on there will be killed by the sun and everything. Like I said, let's do our best to not spread invasive species from one area to the next. While this isn't an invasive species, it is better to keep it isolated to this lake.